This is day two of our five day passage. Big blanket of blue. She stirs and churns as we glide our way through. Random selection or unlucky fate. She might swallow you whole because, well, it's hers to take. I'm grateful chugging a topple blue. She's held the stern and churning for another ship's crew. So for now we slip across her blanket of blue, surrounded by every saturated shade and you. I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. All right, it is, what a time, 12.30 at night right now. I thought I'd just go over a little bit of what we do um, at nighttime. You can see right here, there are a large amount of container ships. And these guys are just sitting out here um, and they're sitting outside of every major port that I've noticed on the way up. Um, same as in California, all the big ports, lots of container ships waiting. It's not normal. Like previous years, there's never container ships like that just waiting there. So it's really interesting to see that, but it makes it a little bit harder to navigate because at night you really want to give them a lot of room. You can see right here, this is our depth. Um, that's not really necessary out here, but we have it anyways. And then this is our, our radar. Here is the radar right here. Um, it's a really great radar. Have you see, I can take the range. We can go all the way out to 120 miles. 12 nautical miles, huh? Maybe 16 nautical miles. You can see a little, maybe a weather weather um, some clouds out there a little squall um, right now we're cruising at about eight knots so at night we use the radar we use AIS and um, we use visual sight to be able to get an idea of what's going on so that night vision is really really important so I'm gonna turn back off the red lights. I just kind of did this so we can film a little bit and keep going. Like shining on Sunday morning, I grew up without a warning. Misty hills and dark red mountains traumatized world. Lonely boat on cold still water, locked in tower. So something we do when we're on our way is we all kind of like snuggle up in the same bed and instead of sleeping in different beds, we all sleep in the same bed. I don't know why we do this. The shadows landscape from the things I want to escape. Go. 
Day two is always a good day cruising. We've settled in and usually just chill. In this case, the kids played Monopoly their own way. You must buy it. Pay the bank the price written. But we know how to pay it. I don't know, so I'm reading it. We okay. Why you know how to play Monopoly? Okay. How much is the rent, guys? What? Oh, see, like it says one million. Who are those people? Those Monopoly guys? They uh, look like they Playmobil. They dog chew up the old ones. Yeah, but my pay my Monopoly person has a pet. Yeah, my person has a pet too. Okay. She's a pig. Just wanted to say thank you for everyone for their kind comments regarding Ernie being homesick for some friends. She's doing really well now, happy and refreshed, and back to her happy self. Hey, one of the nice things about this specific Nordhaven 55 is you'll notice that most 55 stop right here That I've seen most of them will stop at this rail, so it's even I mean maybe it looks better But this is way more convenient because I don't have to fall over the bow if I'm uh, coming out here underway and I've had to be out here in some uh, decent weather securing this anchor and such so th these have, have been a nice addition So Brooke, I was looking at the chart, and today is, what day is it today? Tuesday? Tuesday? We left yesterday? Um, on Wednesday at 3 o'clock, there's a huge shelf. We're going to go over that shelf, and that's my fishing day, I think. Look at all the flying fish.
bring all your science experiment stuff up? Just a little bit of it. Yes. Do you want to explain those to the crowd? Uh, I'll just walk them. This is what Penn's toys look like. Batteries. Batteries. Slingshots. Engines. Oh, engines. Blue cord. Cords. Freaking Chinese finger traps. <laughs> Magnifying glasses. Scary. This freaky dude. You're gonna shock yourself. I'm not. Pen. I'm not. Look. Look. Duh. Me. Don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> Now that you're seven and a full grown man, as you tell me, <laughs> you think you can twist wires together? I can. Ah. I can. Oh my gosh, man. Please don't hurt yourself. <gasps> yeah, that just sparked. That sparked, Pen. Hmm? Pen. What? Don't hurt yourself. Engine ones. What the? Wait, how does that one run though? Which one's running? Oh wait, this is one. See? Ah, oh, shoot. I just... You got it to spin. <laughs> okay, I've seen enough. Terrifying. Direct white light with your prism equals rainbow. Woo! Super cool. I'm like, I'm like in the sky. Whoa. Wait, look at me. I just can't really. Hold on, hold still. Well, hold I... still. Sloth boy. <laughs> There's the warship. What, what happened? Like they launched like They're launching jets? They're launching like a light off. It. Done it? Ready you ready for tomorrow? Yes. Good. You rocking a mermaid monster tea? Yeah. Um, it's new tea's in the works right now. I think I mean to get a new one. It's filthy. It is filthy. <laughs> it's because you're you Get more food on your shirt than in your mouth. No, no stay. All right, guys. No, it's no, time no. to go to bed. Keep coming. Oh, okay. Where are you? Oh, okay. Good night. So tomorrow, Penn, the plan is we wake up and then we have a Playmobil stop motion that we're making for this episode I'm working on this week, okay? No. Yeah, it's going to be super fun. You should give this to the owner of Playmobil. I should do what? The person that owned the Playmobil, maybe you should just send like a million of these to the person. Yeah, they'd be proud, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tomorrow, that's our plan, and we got some school. We're going to go over some safety drills with you guys, like what Mayday means, Pom Pom Securite. And yeah, then I love Mayday means. How to use the radio. When do we use a Mayday call? When someone's in trouble? Yeah, like real bad trouble, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if someone just like cut their knee, you don't call me day. Exactly. <laughs> that would not be good. 
Oh, someone just like had a little scratch. Maybe you ain't caught me, babe. No. <laughs> what happens if your boat was sinking? Call me. Yeah. On channel. 16. What? 16. I can, but you could just like, just like, the, the water cops. The water cops. <laughs> Coast the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard. <laughs> but on my other radio, I have a radio, a land radio, that can call real cops. Oh, great. All right. That should be good for tonight, everyone. Say good night. Say good night. Say see you tomorrow, next week, which will be tomorrow. See you tomorrow next week. Time is weird on YouTube, isn't it? Mm. Liquid. <laughs> it's water, folks. Water. Can Notice we... it! Notice it! Yeah, it's water. Well, folks, this seems like a good stopping point for this episode. This wraps up day two of our five and a half day voyage north. We hope you enjoyed watching. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment below. We will see you all next week.